big companies like Apple, Google, Amazon have their own internal notification systems. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you help us understand what some of these systems are and how other companies can adopt similar approaches during an emergency? Yeah, this is actually a really growing area right now in, in business continuity and disaster recovery. So when it, when it comes to these particular companies, you know, they're, what is their most valuable asset? Their people. Their people is by far their most valuable asset. So when you have some sort of business interruption, which can be anything from supply chain disruption to a truck sliding off a road to, you know, you, you could have had, uh, there could be a bomb blast in an airport uh, somewhere abroad. And, and this can all cause interruption to your business because you don't know where your people are and you don't know if they're safe. So one of the things I encourage all of our customers to do with our systems is we want them to be able to track not just their assets, so their data centers, production plants, offices, et cetera, but we also want them to be able to track their people. And in order to effectively track your people in an emergency situation, you have to be prepared in advance. So it's not a difficult process for businesses to do, it's just overlooked. Because there's a couple things you need to know about your people. You need to know who your people are, which is something people often forget. And you need to know where those people are at all times. And you also need to know how to reach those people in an emergency situation. And it can't just be one modality. You can't guarantee that you know a, a text message sent out from a system is automatically going to make it through a complicated international network and be delivered in uh, Turkey, say if there was a, an incident in an airport. You need to have multiple modalities uh, available to reach all of those people in the event of a situation because it could be that the local SMS is overloaded by people within Turkey sending SMS and uh, backing up the ability to get those out. So that's why we encourage having multiple modalities in order to get in touch with your people. So when you have those three things, you can communicate effectively and get back to business faster. But when you don't have those three things, um, I mean, that's, that's automatically setting yourself up for failure in an emergency situation because if the bomb goes off and you're trying to figure out who you should be tracking, it's far too late. If you're trying to figure out where they are, that's going to set you back hours or days. And if you don't know what their number is or how to contact them, you can't get in touch with them. So really, you can take an incident where, uh, you know, I've had customers report that they've had international instances due to bomb explosions where... In the past, it's taken them, you know, three, four days to account for all their human resources in those areas. And with the Everbridge system and having all of this automated and planned out, it's taken them 15 minutes.